Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome to this lovely Thursday of January 10th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Ed, good to see you. Ben, good to see you. All right, Judy. Ken, we got our new coach <laughs> for football. Good to see you, Grant. Mike, Gene, good to see you. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, first of all, uh, yesterday was a, uh, in phase three, was a phenomenal, phenomenal class. Listen, you know, I always think every class is great, but um, if you're a student at CT, you got to go check out uh, the recording of yesterday's class. I know a lot of you were tr too busy trading, some of you, a lot of you went in there, but um, I'll tell you, yesterday's afternoon's class, if you want to see how easy it is to find a short you know, um, I mean, it was just like off the charts. Great, great short um, in the market. Hold on, let me just uh, bring that, uh, bring something up here so we can see something a little bit better. All right, so we had a great, great short yesterday in the market. And uh, which one was it? The, hold on. We had the BL, we had the BL, the BIL, uh, the BILI, which was a nice push. The AMRN which was a nice little push. The HIMX, which was a great push. Look at all these stocks. Everybody, all of them moved really, really well. And then um, and then we had that great short yesterday, which everybody, <laughs> no, too easy. <laughs> and you guys remember the short? Let's see how everybody remembers it and has a good memory. What was the short that we traded yesterday? Who remembers it? There you go. Ken remembers it. The SGMO. There you go. SGMO. Look at that one. Which, by the way, I want to keep an eye on this morning because it was awfully weak yesterday, the SGMO. But look at that short right out of the gate. That thing just ran from uh, right at 230, ran from 2880 all the way down to 2020. And it was just, that was, you know, like you just said, Ken, it was just too easy, that one. Unbelievable stock. So a lot of good movers yesterday, and that's uh, and we're going to talk about what's moving this morning. But before we do that, um, just want to give everybody a little heads up. Um, hopefully everybody can see the screen really quick. Uh, CTU's got a lot of upcoming events that are going on. First of all, uh, today is a very, very big day. It is Lesson 3, Phase 3. Um, actually, it's wrong. They got a mistake there. It's not Lesson 1. It's Lesson 3 and Lesson 4. And then we also have the Cyber Expo that is going on today. We have some great speakers. So, guys, take the opportunity to make sure you're there. And you always look, listen, and learn. You know, always learn from top traders in today's in, uh, markets. All right? So, um. What we're going to be looking going on to this morning, uh, there are a couple of stocks uh, that are doing quite horribly, and one of them we're going to start right off the bat is what's going on with the retail stocks. Holy cow! Look at Macy's taking a huge hit. You know, I thought we were doing so great in the market. You know, with jobs and this and that. Um, I didn't expect Macy's to take a nasty hit like that. Look at it, it's down 17 percent. 1.8 million shares already traded. Now, for some of you. Um, if you go back to your journals, like we trained you what to do, uh, you know, Macy's is a little bit of a volatile stock. So let's be a little, let's be a little cautious on that Macy's trade. But uh, but a lot of retails came out today. Also, look what happened to uh, uh, Kohl's. Kohl's also down 10%. Another one, great little pop, uh, you know, beginning of the year. And now she's kind of like giving a lot of it back. And then, uh, uh, what was that, L I um, L was it LB, B, LB, I don't know, what's it called, uh, L Bean, whatever it's called, something like that, L Brands, whatever it is, there's another one taking a little bit of a hit right here, but look at the spreads, you know, you got to be really, really careful when it comes to trading these stocks, uh, but there are a lot of them that are going on, uh, Frank says uh, Macy's shares are trading low after the company's lower, it's 2018 same source sales, as, uh, expectations. You know, Macy's has been all over the place. I mean, we traded Macy's many a times, even in the past. Uh, they're doing great. They're doing bad. It, 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 it's a great, it's a great story to hear when it's how that stock is doing, knowing that, you know, they they are the, uh, how can I say it, the uh, the big Kahuna in the in the industry. Everybody knows Macy's, and you know, you see how that stock trades publicly. You know, it's not like looking at. Nordstrom's or any of those stocks, but um, 
And then I'm hearing what what is big a department store might be going out of business. Uh, actually, here in New York, they just closed one of the biggest stores. Uh, what was it? Uh, what's the name of one in Manhattan? That was one of the biggest there. Not Bloomingdale's. Uh, Lord and Taylor, huge, huge store they closed in Lord and Taylor, uh, which shockingly, let me tell you, the rent here in New York is just ridiculous. I can see a little bit of a a, a bubble going on in there, especially now they just raised all the minimum wage. I know a lot of people taking big, big hits, uh, and the rent has just been ridiculous. So that uh, Sears, obviously, you know what's going on with that. You know, Sears has another been another another stock to take. So, so the brick and mortar has been taking. A pretty big hit, and and listen, I tell you, it's a lot of it has to do, I guess, you know, everybody's shopping online. You know, I mean, it's easier, it's cheaper, it saves time. Everybody wants things instant, instantly. You know, so that's why Amazon, I guess, did so well. But anyway, these stocks uh, are going to be affected the market a little bit, but there are a lot of other ones that are moving also. Let's start off talking with the something I think will might be at least a lot less riskier. With more reward, let's start off with the DCIX. Here's the stock, got a nice little penny spread. It's got good iceberg orders. Look at the matrix right there. 9,000 share buyer out there, 3,000 share sell. So we got some good support and resistance levels. Not really making the big pop in this pre in, in pre market, but it sure did well yesterday uh, after the hours. You can see it had gorgeous Fausto flags right there. So that one looks pretty interesting. You know, very inexpensive. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, INPX. This stock gapped up huge this morning, up 41%. Uh, this stock, some of you remember, we traded back in October. It went from six to 20. We made a lot of money on this stock. So go back to your journals and remember and make sure you know what level it's at. But you can see it's got some really, really nice orders in, in, in the matrix and everything else. So that one's going to make the, the watch list. I'm going to have fun trading that one, uh, hopefully, in today's class. GSUM is another one that came up on my radar. Uh, now, this stock right here, up a little bit big. Stock uh, been taking a nasty, nasty hit. Uh, you know, more towards the end of the year from six when only that dollar sixty. She was doing pretty good. I don't know what just happened. She gapped up pretty nicely. Now she's starting to trend down. I don't know. I might pass on it now after looking at it because it's breaking lower lows, not what we're looking for. She looked pretty good about thirty minutes ago. So I don't know. We'll, I'm gonna might want to consider taking that one out. Let me just scratch that one. Hold on. No, we're not interested. You know, one minute guys, they're good. Well, next minute they're shot. You know, they kind of like fall off, the, uh, fall out of bed. UXIN is going to be on our watch list. Nine percent, seven hundred and eighty-one thousand shares. Who remembers UXIN uh, when we traded it uh, back here, back in September, when this thing just literally just went? I think it was what, November. It ran from three all the way to ten. Look at that. Talking about a good short squeeze. That thing was. There's no other way explaining it, seeing how it dropped the way it did. MDB is going to be a nice little day trading stock right here. Got good volatility. Stock took a big hit. Only issue, it's expensive. All right, so unless you got some deep pockets, um, if you're a level four, level five trader, you're probably going to do a little uh, pretty well with this. You can see how the stock was at 88, went all the way down to 72. Uh, listen. Don't give me the whole story. Well, if I trade 100 shares, you know, could I, I, I still have money in my account. It does. I don't care if you could buy one share. You're not learning anything. And we talked a lot about that in class. Uh, okay. Oh, I totally forgot to mention another one that goes with all these uh, retailers. Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know where this came from. Okay. But PBBY, this one right here, t had a nice little pop right after hours. So... But now she's backing off. She had a nice little move there at after hours, uh, went going from like 12.25 all the way to 15, and she's come right back down. So she's got some good volatility in it, so that's going to help out. We're going to have to look at – we definitely got great support and resistance levels. Uh, not the greatest uh, iceberg orders out there, but, you know, it's going to have some good volatility. Be careful. This stock is a fun stock to trade. It's pretty volatile too, so – you might consider trading this into uh, in our cl uh, in class in uh, phase three. So, uh, what is the ETF for retail debt? I have no idea. If anyone else knows, let me know. But uh, you know that we rarely trade ETFs. <laughs> All right, anything I'm missing? 
that thinks uh, something's moving around. You know, I don't know what the story with this thing is. O R G O. Are you are you joking with me, Dan? Dana? Yeah, I thought so. You were. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, XRT. Okay, HD is saying, is that the ETF for for uh, that's the ETF for the retailers? Okay. Looks about right. Guys, you know, and just give you guys a heads up. It's not that we don't trade ETFs. It's just that when you're dealing with ETFs, you're dealing with the best traders on Wall Street, okay? Yes, they got good volume. Yes, they got good volatility. But when it comes to trading, you know, let's just trade the retail stock. It's very hard to trade these stocks when you deal with these ETFs. So, but there's money to be made everywhere. Uh, all right, so we got it. We got a decent list now. I know we have a lot of new traders here. Always like to always welcome them, and you know, hopefully they're learning a lot and they see, you know, like we traded yesterday, like the SGMO, how you can make money going short and so on. But um, but listen, just look, sit back. It's not trading. Everybody wants to trade. Doesn't mean you should. So watch everybody. See how we find these stocks. And if this is something you want to do, just make sure you talk to Education Advisor, and we'll let you know if uh, if this is something that might be sustainable uh, for you to do a career. But in the meantime, everyone, I'll see everybody in class. Don't forget, we have the uh, Cyber Expo. We got class going on today, so today's a busy day, so it's hump day. So let's go out there, look, listen, and learn, and make our money quick early in the morning so we get to go back and just sit back and enjoy and uh, listen to some great presenters. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.